Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, this is going to be a video reply to uh, Always Outspoken 411's video on the ALF. Um, she had left a tab um, for the website Target of Opportunity. And I did some research on this website. This website is based out of Canada. Um, I found out their P.O. box, their street address, their registration address, their IPs, and all the registry information for this website through some simple uh, research. Um, it's pretty simple. If you guys actually Google targetofopportunity.com research and funding or um, the licensing info, you can find out all the information about this website, who runs it, where they're located, their P.O. box or street address, um, everything. And I encourage people to do so and use that information in whatever way you want to. Um, I'm going to make a video the way Outspoken did, addressing the bullshit on uh, the target of opportunities.com's website. This may be a two or three part series because I'm going to um, take my time um, and really just rip them a new asshole essentially because I have no sympathy for people like this. Um, so let's get started, shall we? Um, I'll post a link to the website down below if you want to check it out. I'll also post a link to the Animal Liberation website and Shack. Um, anyway. Let's get down to business. Um, supporters of the Animal Liberation Front or ALF carry out direct actions in the form of liberating animals and causing financial loss through the damage and destruction of property. Well, when I say red ink, it's the opinion and views of targetedopportunity.com. Red ink. If you only remove the term liberated animals from the statement, you have exactly what the 19 Islamic terrorists did to America on 9 11. There is no different in methods or results. So the target of opportunity has, pardon my French, clusterfucked uh, what ALF does to Al Qaeda, Hamas, and other Islamic extremist organizations. Um, first off, target of opportunity, you're located in Canada, so hopefully you are aware that your own fucking government gave the go ahead to allow a Canadian flight school to train the 19 Islamic terrorists before they came to America and flew their planes into our fucking buildings. Oh, and did you also know that the, the, that the 19 Islamic terrorists were not animal liberation activists, they were religious extremists? So comparing ALF to the 19 uh, terrorists and hij hijackers of 2001 is idiocy and only shows your lack of intelligence and your lack of research. It is sometimes claimed that the ALF is merely an ideology, so is terrorism. They do have websites, and sometimes they have several websites. The ALF has multiple websites and communique websites, but apparently I think Target of Opportunity does, does, does not do their homework before they post anything. They do have a press office by the name, a uh, press officer, I'm sorry, by the name of Robin Webb, so the ALF is more than just an ideology, but if you want to consider the ALF to be nothing more than an ideology, it is a terrorist ideology. I guess when they made this article about the ALF, the word terrorist was their word of the day. More recently, Dr. Jerry from the Animal Defense League and the North American Animal Liberation Press Office is now the recognized spokesperson for the ALF. Um, the ALF does not actually have a hierarchical system of command um, in small groups of individuals or uh, um, a lone wolf or a person acting alone can carry out actions on behalf of ALF. It's not one big, big f fucking group of, you know, people all across the country and all across Canada. It's small groups of people or individuals. It has been estimated that in the past decade, ALF supporters have committed well over 700 criminal acts. 700 documented criminal acts. That number will probably, was, is probably a lot higher and cost more than 100 million in damages. Once again, documented, probably a lot higher. Every year in the United States, the number of incidents attributed to ALF increases in size and cost. The ALF short 
term in which to save as many animals as possible and directly disrupt their, the practice of animal abuse. Their long-term aim is to end all animal suffering by forcing animal abusing animal abuse companies out of business. Part two of this video down below. Click it now. If not, go up top and it'll be up there.